This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Face Attorney Investigations, everybody. We're continuing with the kidnap turnabout still at the beginning. Oh, yep, yep. We're in Wild West Zone. <laughs> no need to introduce oh, I K to the music's Gumshoe. really good. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't calmly do anything, any stealing at all with that detective around. I suppose it's not easy when there's this many members of law enforcement in the vicinity. It's alright. It's not like I'm in a hurry to steal just any old thing. Which is it? Do you plan to steal something or not? Quite the mystery, this one. Maybe I should talk with her a bit more. So, what are you going to do about your investigation into the kidnapping? Good question. Since Agent Lane holds the authority to investigate the case now, this makes things a bit more complicated. Oh, come on! You can't let that stop you! I'll even lend you a hand, so let's go! But you're a self-purported great thief, are you not? I don't believe I can let someone of an unlawful nature participate in an investigation. You don't like to listen, do you? I'm not just any ordinary great thief, I'm the Yonagarasu! And, as I said earlier, the Yonagarasu is after one and only one thing. Ugh, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> Throwing her nose, nose, I guess. What is this one and only one thing that you're after? The Yonagarasu's only interested in one thing. And that is the truth. I see. It was seven years ago. There was a vigilante who threw the business world into a panic. Labeled mysterious and phantom-like, the Yadagrasu appeared and vanished at will. Though we still don't know much about this thief's ultimate goal, we do know the targets. The Yadagrasu like to find and make public evidence of corrupt dealings of all sorts. Once a target was chosen, no dramatic calling card or announcement was sent for. Instead, the chosen corporation was infiltrated without even the target noticing. Some days later, the evidence that was found was sent out to the mass media. Along with a card with the mark of the three-legged raven. Looking back, I suppose you could call what the Yadagarasu was stealing the truth. Could this child really be the successor to the original Yadagarasu? But that can't be, can it? Oh, hey, it's our favorite police people. Excuse me, but would you, if you could just let me through here. Oh, sorry, I can't let anyone through. Agent Wayne's orders. Uh, I suppose I'll have to deal with this um, impasse for now. Oh, it's a cat. I thought that was his gigantic hand and he was uh. one finger. <laughs> uh. Excuse me, but if you could just let me through here. I'm sorry, I can't let anyone through. Agent Wayne's orders. Uh, not again. I love how... What? I love how all the policemen have different obnoxious voices. <laughs> yeah. I highly doubt there's a clue in here, but I might as well check just to be sure. Ugh, this barrel sure is heavy. You there! Do you know what's inside this thing? Uh, it's the emergency water supply for putting out fires. I see. Well, they certainly are well prepared. Kitty! Now we can't examine the kitty. Sorry. Freaking... This horizontal bar is used for tying up horses. Apparently, you can ride real horses at the Cowboys Ranch area just up ahead. Is it possible that the culprits have already escaped with the help of a stolen horse or two? Under Agent Lane's orders, we already rounded up all the horses. And every last one has been accounted for. Agent Lane is good, although I won't go far as to say I'm impressed just yet. Great job, Detective. Sir! For losing sight of me and the kidnapper and allowing my investigation to be hijacked. I... Sir! I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. But, but the case isn't lost yet, sir! I'm gonna show you just how much of a man Dick Gumshoe can be! Shall I prepare the 21 gun salute now or later? Oh my gosh. Detective, are you sure it was the precinct you called for backup? Uh, of course, sir! I think I would know the number to my own precinct with the back of my hand! Then why did an Interpol agent show up instead with an army of his own agents? That, I have no idea. About five minutes after I made the call, that wolf man showed up out of nowhere, sir. See? He's a wolf! <laughs> he does have wolf motifs. Oh, yeah. Shivon Lane, he's 27, boasts that he has the highest arrest rate in Interpol. Oh, no one arrests like Gaston. Okay. And Sheena. Sheena. Lane's trusty secretary. Level-headed, she supports him in his investigations. Nobody knows her. Nobody met her. Why do we have her? <laughs> Agent Lane definitely has an agenda. So the question is, what is he after? 
Mr. Edgeworth, I was wondering if I may ask about one thing, sir. Yes, what is it? Um, who is that? That girl over there, I mean. I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, K K Faraday. 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 Faraday, good work. W what? Funny, I don't recall making you my assistant, K. Hey, yeah, I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. Me! I, it's been like that since forever. Sorry, but I just stole your supporting role. How can you say something so serious with that giant grin on your face, pal? Mr. Edgeworth, we've got a thief on our hands, sir. She stole my role, sir. <laughs> I'm taking her in, getting her convicted, and making sure she serves out her sentence. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Like musical chairs. You better stay fast on your feet. No way. I won't. I will not lose the spotlight to you, little girl. Lance, Lance, where are you, son? Uh, why did Dr. Wowie show up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind, he's got, like, big ears. Oh, yeah, okay, I didn't realize until shockingly late in my life that some people's earlobes are not attached to their head. Oh, yeah, they, I thought you learned that in science. Everybody, I, I learned that in science. Yeah, like I said. I don't know why his ears are super droopy, though. That's like, okay, you know when like people wear those gauges in their ears? Uh, sure. Okay, it's like the it's like the round things that look like buttons, and you put them in your ear, and then it makes your ears all saggy and gross, and you don't oh. wear them. That's what and his ears look he's like. He's literally just counting money right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a mood. I was doing that earlier. <laughs> I, I was, no, not, not like maliciously. I was at work. They're like, "Oh, here's your tips. You count your money." I'm like, oh, "One dollar, two dollar, three dollar." I only get three dollar tips, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> Mr. Romano. Oh, Miles, my boy, I'm sorry to involve you in such an affair just after you've returned. Why does he have a belt of money? <laughs> it's like Scrooge McDuck, me money belt. Yeah. <laughs> for you, Mr. Romano, I gladly offer my assistance. After all, I have you to thank for how well things turned out during my time abroad. What? If it wasn't for you, I might not have been introduced to that law office. And had the chance to study the inner workings of another country's judicial system. Nice. Uh, no, no, no. Think nothing of it. As you know, Manfred and I go way back. Great! <laughs> He's also gonna be an interesting guy. Spa buddies. Uh, no. <laughs> How the heck could Manfred ever have a spa buddy? That's true. Manfred goes to the spa alone, Jane. He goes alone and might get left alone, depending yes. on the day. I consider a beloved disciple of his to be like one of my own blood. Are you ready for your massage? No! Leave me alone! Okay, it'll be a uh, candle therapy then. That'll be thirty dollars. Fine. <laughs> He's just got the millions of candles. Like. I don't feel relaxed. <laughs> no, it's like that scene in Kung Fu Panda where um, is it Ugwe? Like blows out the candles. Oh yeah, slowly. one by one. <sighs> Master Ugwe is the but best character. Then he just character. blows them all out at once. If you ever want to go overseas again, you need only to ask. I can use my company's vast network to send you anywhere at any time. What kind of connection is that? So who's the old man? He is the father of the currently kidnapped Lance Amano, Ernest Amano. Now then, have you found Lance yet, Miles? Please, I miss my poor boy dearly. I'm terribly sorry, but your son's whereabouts remain unknown, Mr. Amano. W hold on there! Then what happened to all that money? I believe the one million dollars has been stolen, and that the culprits are now on the run. What?! Poor old man. Don't you have anything you could give him to cheer him up, Mr. Edgeworth? Forgive me, Mr. Amato. I was wondering if you could please tell me the details of the kidnapping one more time. Oh, it was yesterday. A call came to the house. From the receiver came the sound of my son. Help me, Daddy. <laughs> I know this is tough, but please stay with me here, Mr. Amato. You don't understand. He hasn't called me daddy in ages. It was incredibly moving. I wish I had recorded him saying that. He definitely should have recorded that conversation. But not for the foolish sentimentalities of an old man. He's got the one white spot on his coat. <laughs> I think that might be a button. Maybe. Refresh my memory. What kind of person is Lance again? How will telling you about Lance help you get him back? Surprisingly, a lot can be deduced from a person's relationships and behavior. Very well then, Lance is my one and only son, and he turned 21 this year. Aw, man. He's very much like me when I was his age. Kind and very attractive. Yeah. I'm sure women simply can't keep their hands off of him. 
So the people kidnapped him were women! Is that what you're saying? Well, one of them could have been a woman. It could have been a... Sheena. Sheena. You really suspect Sheena, don't you? A little bit. She's just there. Which seems weird. Oh. She doesn't need to be there. Which is weird. It's true. Is there anything else about him that you noticed of late? Now that you mention it, I haven't been able to get in contact with our butler, Oliver. Your butler? Oh, yes. His name is Oliver Deacon. Hmm. Yeah, he's been with our family for years now. Why does that name sound familiar? Oliver Deacon? Yeah. Could have sworn I've heard that Oliver, name somewhere. Oliver. Not that one. Different Second Oliver. thing I just realized, it's the 10 gallon hat saloon. Yeah. Which makes me immediately think of um, Freddy, Freddy Fish. Fish 4. Yeah, Freddy Fish 4, where they're like, we need a 10 gallon hat. Check out our Let's Play of that up there, because it's almost certainly going to be done by the time this be. comes out. It will definitely be uh, done by then. <laughs> He gets along so well with Lance, so I thought maybe he would know where my son is. Mr. Romano, could you please tell me a little more about your butler, Mr. Deacon? As a butler, he's outstanding. He even serves as Lance's personal private tutor. Well, a personal private? Personal private, okay. It's, he's a private tutor, but he's also only personally for Lance. He's a private tutor? Well, some people are private tutors, but they still work with multiple people. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's just It's not him. redundant. Yeah. He took a brief leave recently, but even after it was over, I haven't been able to reach him. So you still haven't spoken with him since his leave? What about his family and friends? They said they hadn't seen him. I've tried everything I could think of, Miles. Do you think this could have something to do with Lance's kidnapping? It's possible, but I can't say anything for sure quite yet. So even the person closest to the victim has gone missing. Oliver Deacon. Sounds like one name I'd better keep in mind. Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir! Let's begin our investigation. Even if that Interpol agent holds the authority to head this investigation, we can't allow ourselves to stand idly by twiddling our thumbs. I'm with you 100%, Mr. Edgeworth, sir! I did Gumshoe punch to stick by your side for thick and thin! Mr. Amano, it was my fault that the culprits escaped. Which is why, with your blessing, I vow to return Lance to you myself. Oh! I've never seen you so passionate before, Miles. Good luck to you, my boy. Alright! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do some investigating! If you think I'm losing to you, pal, forget it. I do like Kay's uh, pose here. Yeah, <laughs> I can see why you're like, Because she's very generic. Yeah, she's just, she's not really that different from the other ones. Right, uh, generic in comparison to others. Yeah. How old is Edgeworth in this? 26? 20, 24, 25, somewhere in there. Oh, okay. So, what should we examine first? Hmm. Thanks to Agent Lane, we can't leave this area. But the culprits were here only until very recently. Which means we may be able to find some clues that will tell us how they escaped. Okay, let's get looking. Hey, you there! Who, me? What are you doing goofing off in a place like this? I wasn't goofing off, I was about to help Mr. Edgeworth kick off his investigation. You imbecile! All precinct detectives are now under Agent Lane's direct command! No, no way! I am not working for Wolf Boy! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, can't you do something? I'm not exactly in a position to argue, seeing as how you are a member of the police. Good! Now let's go! <laughs> no! <laughs> they just drag him off. Boy, have I got the job for someone of your talents. They just make him, like, serve coffee. Clean the toilets. Yeah, clean the <laughs> toilets. Well, that was exciting. Okay. What? Can't you tell I'm all ready to go down and do some detective work? You should go home. Your parents must be worried about you. Well, come on! I finally get to be your assistant and you try to ditch me? I don't recall offering you the position. Hmm. Why do you have to be so difficult? Besides, it's already too late, you know. Like I said, I've already stolen the position of assistance a while back. Ha! Huh. You're the only one asserting that. Well, by the time anyone notices, it's already gone. That's the Yadagarasi way. You shouldn't speak so lightly of things you know nothing about. Fine, whatever, you win. Go ahead and do your little investigation. But the talented assistant K is going to tag along no matter what you say. Even if she turns out to be useless, she's not going to listen to me. I might as well surrender and let her come along for the ride. Freaking ugh. Alright. Yeah? Okay, what do you think about the kidnapping? Well, I don't know anything about the victim. So actually, I was hoping you could tell me. 
Ah, that's right. I never did explain the situation to you. I got involved because of a phone call I received. It was from none other than the director of the Amano Group, Mr. Ernest Amano. His only son, Lance, has been kidnapped, and he wanted me to be the drop-off man. Little did I suspect that I would be abducted myself. And that's when I found you tied to a pool screaming, no! Can you please drop that already? <laughs> it's my prosecutor's badge. If I have one of these, I could be a prosecutor too, right? Don't even think of stealing this from me. If it's that important to you, then why don't you wear it on your lap lapel? I suppose I can't really tell her that no one in the prosecutor's office wears their badges. But why does everyone ask that question of me? That's what I'd like to know. I think that's funny because, like, Phoenix Wright's just like, look at my badge. Isn't it beauty? Woo! Like, Gatewater Land. We got the main gate, the Wild Wild West, the stadium, and the haunted house. Well, this is a pretty, uh, lackluster park. There's not it's much. It's no Magic Kingdom. <laughs> it's not much. There's like three lands, and two of them are very basic. <laughs> Haunted House Land. <laughs> uh, my favorite's the Stadium. Stadium Land. Stadium Land is the best. There's only Take one a of picture of every member of the Badger See, family. if we were Get playing like Kingdom Hearts 3, this would be like you'd have to walk around with like Sora's phone and be like, woo! And then taking like taking selfies. The, taking the... selfies with the bears. <laughs> the Badgers. The Badgers. The bears. The oh, bears. Bother. oh, bother. Oh, bother. Come on! The Badger family's waiting for us to find and take pictures for them! And remember, you have to yell Badger Get every time or it doesn't count. They even have a rule for when you take their pictures? Tell me about it! I was planning to steal all of my shots, as any proper great thief should! Does the concept of stealing permeate every aspect of this girl's life? What do you think about this? If you're going to steal anything, at least keep your hands off of my lines. All right, all right. I'll return this to you. Here you go. I was hoping for some information in return, but my line will do for now. Blue Badger Bible. Blue Badger Bible, there's two pages. It's a book of information about my arch enemy, the Blue Badger. But I won't lose to the likes of him. You just wait and see. I'm gonna write the Tome of, Thie of Thievery. How's that, Mr. Edgeware? The information that winds up on your wanted poster will suffice in this competition. It's just like, oh, he's still counting money. Never mind. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, there's a bunch of footprints in the mud over here. I remember hearing rain fall out here when I was being held in here. Yup, it was just a passing rain. That's why the ground's already pretty much dried up. I should be thankful. It left us some nice footprint samples. You know what? I bet if we followed them, we can find out where the kidnappers went. Plus, we'd be able to spot them because of their muddy shoes. I don't think it will be that easy. Why not? Look carefully. There are quite a few different sets here. And we don't know which ones belong to the kidnappers. Oh, that's true. We don't know what kind of shoes they were wearing. Well, they weren't wearing high heels. That's true. Because high heels look weird. Oh, we can't go there. I want to go into the bar! I need a drink! <laughs> I really need one after that terrible kidnapping. If these were real, I wonder where you'd put them. What you'd or put what in... you'd put in them. Water would be the obvious answer. But if you stored water in a barrel under the blazing hot sun, wouldn't it go bad? People of that period probably didn't care about how it tasted. Sorry, but I can't let you get away with making fun of our forefathers. I mean, maybe they really liked the strange taste. Look who's making fun of them now. Look, there's a blurb about the cactus here. This cactus is a very gracious gift to Gatewaterland from the local police precinct. I can't believe the police went so far as to even donate a cactus to this place. So, is the police department running a cactus farm on the side? <laughs> Just kidding, they wouldn't do something so silly. Actually, I have the vague impression that I've seen a cactus farm at the precinct before. <laughs> Jake Marshall. Oh, I forgot about him. Bambina. Bambina. Did he grow cacti in his office? He had the cacti in his office. He one. I with, like, he... a luminol reaction on top. Oh, yeah, that's right. That ch that case I honestly forgot so much about. It's a set of tire tracks originating from the garage. Aha! So that means a car left from the garage at some point, right? Correct. But for the car to leave these tracks, it would mean that it left during the passing rain. That's the only explanation as to why these tracks are made of mud. Hmm, free treads. I think we can also safely assume that it's a special type of car. Excuse me, but would you- could you please let me through here? No, sorry, I can't let anyone through, um, Agent Lane's orders. 
Ugh. I suppose I'll have to deal with this impasse for now. That must be Meekins. <laughs> hey, it's the blue badger! <laughs> Why? Because it salutes you. Yeah. It's a badger of justice, after all. That's true. Badger, get! I really don't understand why she is so excited over this badger hunt. Speaking of badgers, there's a person inside of there. Mr. Badger, I wonder if you might share with me what you saw. He's doing that contorted, wriggling dance again. Oh, oh my wow. gosh! <laughs> you were? You called it, yeah. You've uncovered my uncovered undercover identity, sir! I was about to remain under the head, sir! <laughs> Aren't you Officer Meekins? Sir! Mike Meekins reporting for duty, sir! This man was a witness in one of the cases I headed two years ago. I knew that had to be the same dude with that same stance. <laughs> the salute. About the only thing I remember about this officer is that... He often spoke and acted before he fought, which gave me a great deal of headaches. Is he a friend of yours, Mr. Edgeworth? I've met him in the courtroom once before. Hmm. Why was he so upset when we unmasked him? Does he have something to hide? Officer Meekins, why are you standing here wasting time? Sir! Uh, because I'm not a police officer right now, sir! I'm a the Blue Badger! And I'm creating memories and dreams for the kids! That's never a waste of time, sir! I have a dream to become as big as Detective Gumshoe, sir! I was patrolling the scorching we bore and beat him to a little while ago. When the dispatch radio on my shoulder crackled that the kidnappers had escaped, sir. I thought that maybe this was my shot at making detectives, sir. I rushed on over to join in, but when I got here, there was a sea of people already. And I couldn't spread my trademark friendliness and joy on any to anyone. It would seem that some people never change. Huh. This is kind of a game where a lot of people return, honestly. A lot of heart returns again. Maybe. <laughs> so why exactly no. are you in that ridiculous outfit? Sir! That's because, sir, I'm here to keep the visitors in good spirits, sir. But it's also to hide the fact that I'm an officer on the trail of a kidnapper, sir. I see. Agent Lane is very wise to employ this sort of diversionary tactics. To be handed the role of THE Blue Badger out of all the different disguises, sir. It's... it's such an honor. How long have you been standing here, officer? Sir! For about one little hour, sir! Hmm. That's around the time I woke up from being knocked unconscious. And I've been here ever since, sir! If that's true, then it's possible Officer Meekins saw the kidnappers escaping. B -b -b however sir, I must tell you that I didn't see a thing, sir! I haven't asked you anything yet, officer. No, 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 no! B but I know you will, sir! He's hiding something from me. Officer Meekins, I insist that you tell me more about your recent movements. Sir! I've been playing the Blue Badger this whole time, sir! And getting into it, too! I patrolled the park all while wearing this costume! And about one hour ago, I came over here, sir! Oh my gosh. What if the kidnappers, they were on their way out, and then they saw the Blue Badger, and they're like, Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Badger again! And, like, they took a picture, and then okay. that'll be, like, the incriminating evidence, since it's like, well, there's these people. Left. Took a selfie or took a selfie with the blue badger. <laughs> I haven't seen any suspicious looking people this whole time, sir! But I did see a badger, sir! A lone blue badger! What you said just now is contradictory to the facts. How so, Mr. Edgeworth? Well, there's only one in each spark, right? Very true. Or one in Take each, that. yeah. Your testimony contradicts this piece of evidence. I'm just a little patrolman, so I don't understand what you're talking about, sir. I can't see I get it either! Yeah, This isn't what I was looking for! I'm sorry, officer, but could you please repeat what you said one more time? Of course, sir! I'd be honored to repeat myself as many times as needed, sir! For almost a whole little hour, I didn't see any suspicious-looking people around, sir! But I did see a badger, sir! A lone blue badger! Okay, well, sorry, there's only one per park. Take that! Officer Meekins, let's back things up. I'd like to ask you about your last statement. Sir! Of course, sir! If that's your wish, Mr. Prosecutor! This little patrolman will wait as long as I'm commanded to wait! You said that you saw a blue badger, correct? And yet, if you take a look at this, what you saw was not supposed to happen. 
This park is supposed to have only one of each badger in it at any given time. Which means that as long as you are the blue badger, Officer Meekins, you should not have seen another blue badger wandering the premises. W what Sir! Did his head just go flying? And then that would mean that there are two blue badgers walking around. But why? Yeah, he squeezed his hat off of his head. Horses are painted on this garage door to complete the Wild West theme. They look so lifelike, don't you think? Are you thinking of wrangling or rather stealing them? If you could coax them out of there, sure! Come on, I know you like to sweet talk them out! I could be holding a cube of sugar in my hand and they wouldn't budge, Kay. Logic time, Woody? It could be. Seems that the costumes of the Blue Badger family are kept in the isolation room. And then there's the blue, second Blue Badger. Mm -hmm. A second Blue Badger that shouldn't exist. Clearly the true identity of the person underneath is... Oh, I know! It's one of the kidnappers, right? The person wore a costume to get away! Precisely. After all, the costumes that went missing from the storage area are... A blue badger, a proto-badger, and a bad badger. Yes, those three. So there are three phony badgers running around the park somewhere, huh? They're wearing badger shoes. Yeah, they are. Now that we know that the kidnappers are wearing badger costumes... Those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. Oh, you mean now we know which tracks belong to the kidnappers, right? Yes. More than shoe prints, we need to follow the paw prints of the badgers. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to use those footprints and go badger hunting! Cool. Hmm, so we're looking for footprints made by a costume. Hey, I think I found them! There's two sets here. They both do look like possible candidates. That's walking off to the west. Ugh, it just stops! I can't make heads or tails of where it's headed from here. I think we can assume it's headed towards the stadium. Hmm, I wonder where the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. Huh? Quick, Mr. Edgeworth! I got him! I got one of the culprits! Ah! No! I'm not a kidnapper, sir! Down, Kay. Clearly those footprints belong to Officer Meekins. But our criminals were each wearing a costume. Uh, maybe they came over to this garage or something. That's what I would suppose. Officer Meekins, if you could step aside for a moment. We need to examine the garage. Sir! Roger Wilco, sir! Let's open the shutter oh. and see what we find. Kay looks really weird from the front. How she so? She looks totally different. Well, pull up her profile. She looks totally different. She looks more sinister from the front. The side, she just kind of looks like, Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess. Deacon's is 24. Same age Oliver as Deacon is 50. Okay. Crap. Maybe we'll find the kidnappers hiding inside. Or hiding inside. Kidding. What in the- Oh. We seem to have stumbled across a dead body. She must be in severe shock to have been the first to find it. Now then, who is this man? It's Oliver! Mr. Amano, are you saying that this man is- Yes, he's my butler. How could something like this have happened? Indeed. And why was Mr. Deegan here to begin with? Was he an Interpol agent? Maybe. Who isn't? <laughs> Who isn't at this point? Everybody's an Interpol agent! Kay's an Interpol agent. Meekins is an Interpol agent. Let's <laughs> no, Was also one. an Interpol agent. I better investigate this crime scene quickly before Agent Lane or his men return. The kidnapper's footprints lead right to this garage. And right to a dead body. Is it possible one of the kidnappers is now a murder victim? Well, there's That's a actually just a car. That's just a very strange car. From my cursory examination, I believe this man died of a fatal bullet wound. In the shoulder and in the stomach? 
You sure are calm for someone who just found a body? It's surprising what one can become accustomed to in the span of two days. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. What do you mean? There's nothing unusual about that! That's like a, that's like the tri-speeder from Mario Kart. The tri-speeder, oh my gosh. This is an unusually shaped pendant. What is it? Is it something valuable? She seems to have regained some of her composure. It looks like a horse pendant! It's got an antique feel about it and it's really pretty! Hold on. This is made of platinum silver. Nice! It is worth something after all! Ooh, and look! There's something written on the back! Colin Devore. Devore. <laughs> Devore. It's a name. Colin Devore. So this man's name is... Dude, oh, we can't examine his face? Wow. As long as that Interpol agent has controlled this case, I'm not going to be able to have a real autopsy done on the victim. I'm no doctor, but let's see what I can piece together myself. Hmm. There are two gunshot wounds, one in his abdomen and one in his shoulder. Got it. So that means he was shot twice, right? No, I don't think so. I think the abdominal one is an entry wound and the one near his shoulder is the exit wound. Nice! I knew you could figure it out! It comes with experience and I've seen my share of crime scenes. Speaking of experience, this crime scene seems a bit too clean for a murder where the bullet went clean through. I should make a note of this oddity. Yeah, it is really clean. They probably dumped it there. That's possible. I don't know. What's that? That's his pen. Is it similar? Um... I think it just contradicts this because that's not his name. Eureka! There's something not right about the name on the pendant. The victim is the Amano family butler and his name is Oliver Deacon. Unless that he just gave them a fake name. Maybe. But the name on the pendant is Colin Devore. I wonder what's up with that? I don't know, but... I think we've hit upon an important piece of information. Mr. Deacon's pendant. Also, do you recognize that pendant from somewhere? Do I recognize the pendant? I'd have to look at it up close again.